Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are live. We are live. Uh, welcome to today's webinar, Friday, the 1st of May. Uh, my name is Matt Wiles, Operations Manager at InfoServe. Thank you for joining me um, and the team today. Um, we're really uh, happy to see, see everyone. I'm just going to go into the chat and say hi to a few people before we commence. Um, so, yeah. Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Hello again. Jane. Hello, Ian. Good to see you again, Mark, Julie, uh, Wayne, Calvin. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. A, there's a lot of you in here today again, so it's fantastic to see you. How is everyone? And what is the weather like in your area? Where are you all from? Uh, <laughs> we'd, love to, we'd love to know whereabouts in the UK or even beyond. Uh, where, are, where are you from? Um, we're up in North Yorkshire. Um, we, we have our office base in, in Yorkshire. Um, I live a few miles down the road from the office, so I'm sort of near Harrogate Way, if, if any of you know that area. Um, and, uh, yeah, a few of us are scattered around Yorkshire. So we're all working. We're all carrying on as normal, except we're working from home, of course. It's the right thing to do. We, we aren't going into the office yet. Um, we're all keeping ourselves safe, working from home, um, doing lots of hard work. Um, and yeah, it's the start of a new month, um, May the 1st. So we've got a good one for you today. Um, Beverly, Sunny Beverly, Carol from Beverly, um, <laughs> Marie from uh, Dunstable. Hello. Uh, Rotherham, South Yorkshire. It's chilly. Yes, a bit chilly here as well. A little bit chilly. Um, Graham from Tunbridge, Kent. Hello, hello. Mid Wales, Tricia. I am, have been meaning to go to Wales. I'm really keen on checking out Snowdonia. Um, I'll do that one day, I hope. Um, welcome to today's webinar. And today we're looking at website conversion rate optimization. What does that mean? What does website conversion rate optimization mean? It means optimizing, or how can I put it better? Uh, improving your website really easily. It'll, it will, literally will take minutes to do these improvements. But by making these improvements, you will get more inquiries. You will get more phone calls. Why are we so sure of that? Well, because we're going to show you the top, the very, very top things that do improve conversion rates on websites. We could show you 20, 30 different elements, things from how the border should be, um, what color the border should be, what, what kind of font you should be using, and, and it's actually what color font you should be using. There's many things we could go into today, but we're not going to go into all of the detail. We're going to tell you the top five or six things that you need to look at. So these are things that everybody can do as well. This is a good thing. The reason why we're doing this is we're supporting small businesses at the moment. Whether you're a customer of InvestServe or not, um, it, it, we, we just want to help as many people as we can. We're helping as many small businesses across the UK and beyond. Um, and we're doing it completely for free. We're, we're not asking for anything in return. Um, don't worry. I know that sometimes might be the case with many webinars. Uh, might try to get you to sign up to something or pay for something. There is none of that. We really do just want to help you with that. Our passion is digital marketing and my passion is helps. I absolutely love seeing small businesses grow. Nothing makes me more happier than, uh, well, I'm sure other things do, but nothing is as good as seeing a small business go from, um, you know, small roots to then um, bigger things. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a good feeling. We want to help your business grow and we know how we can improve your digital marketing. So that's what we're unleashing on you um, our years and years of experience. Now is the time to help small businesses, we feel. Um, so we're not doing these once a week and we're not doing any kind of sign up process in terms of payment or anything. Like I say, we're, we're, we're doing these every single day and they're completely free. Um, so please do join us every day. We really do appreciate your time. Um, the feedback so far has been unbelievable. We've been doing this for a couple of weeks elsewhere, and we've had good feedback there, but it's amazing seeing your feedback. It is truly overwhelming. So um, we seem to be doing something right, I hope. Um, so what we're looking from you today is to come away with at least one or two things. If you can take away one or two things, um, that's all we're asking. Um, that's all we're hoping for today. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is introduce Josh, and he's going to come onto camera for the first time. Hello, Josh. Oh, we can't hear you, Josh. Can't hear you. <laughs> sometimes this happens. Sometimes when Josh comes on, he's, he, the microphone or something might be a bit, uh, there might be a setting he'll have to play with. Um, 
so he'll he'll sort out his setting but Josh is going to come on let me just check if he's if he's on camera um oh he's not even on the camera he's he's rejoining I think he's coming on any minute now hi Josh hi Josh everyone's saying hello Josh he's a bit camera shy so give him a warm welcome when he comes on um uh, Josh is our marketing lead um and so he's going to help me out today with a few things regarding your website and um, we'll come to that later on um for a lucky couple of you today we're going to do an SEO a free SEO audit on a couple of you um here he is hi Josh Hello, can you hear me now? We can hear you. Welcome, Josh. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, how are we all doing? Everyone in the chat, I hope you're all good. Um, yeah. As, yeah, as, as Matt's mentioned, we've been, we've been doing this for, uh, for a while now. Uh, we're on to two daily webinars. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and also, please excuse the hair. The barber's been shut for six weeks. So, so Josh hasn't been able to get a haircut, so please excuse how he looks. Um, <laughs> we, 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 can, we can put up with that for a bit, Josh. Um, but yes, um, let's crack on. Um, so Josh, uh, make sure our video is small in the bottom right because uh, we're going yeah. go to pre- we're going to the presentation now. So Josh is going to help me out, guys. And what we're going to ask for from you is two lucky people are going to get a free SEO audit, a really in-depth SEO audit. Um, um, if we can do more, we'll try and do more as well. So it's worth shouting out now. What we're going to ask for is please give us your website URL. So just type into the chat your website URL. And at the end of this, we're, I'm going to go into the, your SEO audit and deep dive into various bits and bobs that um, uh, kind of alerting me to to any problems or anything like that. So do bear in mind, I am maybe going to be looking, being quite, quite critical on certain elements. So um, give me your website and Josh will run the report whilst I carry on. So yeah, just give your URL in the chat and we'll be good to go. Um, we'll come back to that at the end of the webinar. Um, for now, um, talking of Yorkshire, we are Yorkshire's only Google Premier Partner and Microsoft Elite Partner. So we're the only company in Yorkshire to have both of those highest level partnerships. They are the highest level. A couple of people have asked us, how, what is the difference between a Google Premier Partner and, and, a, and a Google non-Premier? It's like there's a blue badge, I think, kicking around. Well, the Google Premier Partner and Microsoft Elite Partner, the top two, you have to manage um, Google and Microsoft campaigns to the highest level en masse and you have to be applying all the best practices. You have to tick so many boxes and you have to be really at the top at the top of your game, which is why we're the only one in Yorkshire and Yorkshire is a big county. So we're really proud of that um, accolade. Um, you really are working with the best guys. If it's not seen sometimes, then hopefully now and this free advice is, is, is reinforcing the, the knowledge and the depth that InfoSurf can go to. Um, so please do reach out to me and my team here and um, we'll, we'll, um, we'll help you out towards the end of this as well. So um, we'll give you a link at the end of this session where you can get a free one-to-one and a free SEO audit from me and the team. So um, we're going to step in and do a little bit of auditing with you. Um, but yeah, so Josh is going to take get your URLs. Josh is collecting those now and he's going to pick two. So Josh, get two. And whilst I'm going through this, run the SEO audit on those two URLs and we'll try and do a few more if we've got time. Today, we're looking at making getting more inquiries from your website. How do we get more inquiries from your website? Well, there's some really easy steps um, that you can do that will achieve that. But before we get into those easy steps, of a 30-second recap, if I may. Um, yesterday, we looked at your SEO, search engine optimization. And this is what we call on-site SEO. So effectively, on your website, um, on-site SEO. And the key elements we looked at for on-site SEO were your title tag. And we advise you to have a unique title tag on every page of your website, or at least the top pages. So, you know, just the, maybe the service pages, the different service pages, and the home page. Definitely have a unique title tag on the home page and all of your different service pages. So, the title tag needs to describe what's on page. It needs to have the main keyword that just, what, what is that page about. 
And we showed you how your title tag and your description tag appears on Google when someone searches your business name. And your business name search is the last thing that people do. So really making good use of your title tag and your description tag, it is imperative that you make good use of that stuff. And we've also been showing you how to um, improve your Google My Business listing, which is over there on the right-hand side. I don't know which way it is on, my, on your screen, but the Google My Business listing is on the side of the screen there. Um, photos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we showed you how to match up your title tag with your heading and your content, really important for on-site SEO, really important. And one of the most important bits of that was the URL, the URL. Hi, Josh. Hello. Hi. Were you going to say something there, sorry? Oh, no, no. No, sorry. Oh. I was just... <laughs> no, go, okay. go ahead. Sorry. Um, I, yeah, sorry. I just heard you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, basically, we showed you these elements. We showed you these key elements. And then finally, we showed you how to do, what to do is create location pages, areas we cover. So um, we've gone on through that, through all of that, sorry, with you yesterday. Um, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to upload these videos to YouTube next week. So they're not, they're not there yet, but we're going to be um, sorting these out so they're all accessible for free for you on YouTube. You can watch them back at your, at your own pace and rewind, et cetera, et cetera. So the areas we cover SEO trick we showed yesterday is so powerful. It is, it is unbelievable. Uh, but like I say, today it's all about your website um, in terms of layout, the structure, the layout, what people see. Um, and of course, um, just a quick reminder, please do make sure that your website is mobile friendly. This is the number one factor that puts people off from using you as a business. If your website is not easy to use on mobile phone, you've got big, big problems. You are losing customers or inquiries regularly. You are losing potential business um, if it's not mobile friendly. When I say mobile friendly, um, if I just may go to this SEO tool that I've mentioned a couple of times, when I say mobile friendly, what I mean is, if I just go to this, um, let me go to a better one really quickly. I'll go to one that's a bit more visual. Um, so we'll go and check this one and I'll go on his or her mobile friendly bit. Okay, maybe not the best example again, but what we're referring to when, when we say mobile friendly is that it fits the screen width. So a mobile site should be free of horizontal scroll uh, where you're scrolling left and right, obviously. So it should be free. Of, it should fit the width of your mobile phone. It should, have, it should have text that's easy to read, big enough and easy to read. And the links on, the, on, the, um, on screen should be big enough to tap. And so when I do this SEO check, we're going to be looking at this on your website or um, you can have a look at some of the people's websites and see how you're comparing. Uh, but a mobile-friendly website, there's some key elements on mobile-friendly which have to be ticked. Uh, we mentioned how your website should be secure. We've talked about that already. And we've talked about load speed. Um, but um, if you didn't know already, 33% of people abandon a website that takes more than four seconds to load. And that's Google, source Google. Um, so obviously Google and Microsoft have big data. They collect big data. They know what people are doing when people go on websites. So if, if they've got lots and lots of data of how behavior of, of consumers are with websites. And they know now that 33% abandon a website that takes more than four seconds to load. To load. Um, so just, just something to bear in mind. Now, the way to check that, by the way, guys, there's lots of tools out there. There's lots and lots of tools out there. For example, if I go to Google and type in um, site speed check checker, I'm going to just go down to the first organic result because I'm looking for the Google result. And there we go. It's page speed insights. So all I've done is gone to Google and typed site speed checker. And I would go to page speed insights and I would type my URL into that and I would check my um, website on this and that tells me if it's uh, how it's doing in terms of load speed and, and various other things like that but my own advice um, is some of these tools can be a bit iffy um, and it's technology that you're relying on and sometimes they aren't 100 percent accurate and there's nothing better than just checking your phone um, your website on your mobile phone so going your mo go on your mobile phone 
and make sure it's on 3G or 4G. So probably most of you have 4G by now. Make sure it's on 4G. Go to your website. Maybe go to a private window if you, if you know how to do that. So you can go onto your browser. I'm on an iPhone. So I can go to Safari and I can click on private browsing. Um, uh, hopefully many of you know what that is. And then go to your website on there. So basically what that does is it's clear of history. And it's clear of any cache. Basically it will, it will load exactly how someone new would see it. Um, so if someone's never been to your website, this is how it would work. So just go to your website on your mobile phone. Does it take more than four seconds to bring up the main bits on the home page? Is your home page appearing within four seconds? If it does, you're good to go. It's fine. Don't worry about all the detail on all of these tools. If it works within four seconds, you're good. Um, that's how I would personally do it, just in a real life scenario. Um, today, though, what I said we're doing is talking more about um, improving your website conversion rate. We call it conversion rate in the industry. But what that means is, a com well, actually, I'm going to ask the audience. I'm going to ask the chat. Does anyone know what, <coughs> uh, what we mean by conversion rate um, when it comes to website, um, your website? What, if, if, if any of you can answer, I'd love to see if anyone's got the right answer to this. What do we mean by conversion rate um, or even conversion rate optimization? But what is a conversion rate? What is a, what is a conversion, as it were? Um, Josh, you want to just read out any of the correct answers? Give someone a shout out. Yeah, let me have a quick look. Um, what so, is con conversion? Just wait for some answers to pop in. Does anyone know what a conversion, what we're talking about when it comes to conversion rates? Uh, so Vince has said um, click to purchase. Uh, Gary okay. has said how many views turn to bookings. Yeah. Um, Leo said how many people visit the site versus how many new customers. Perfect. That's that's perfect. Great answers, guys. Brilliant answers. So um, if you're an e-commerce business, so uh, you sell on your website, it means how many purchases you get on your website to, to how many people visit your website. Um, if you're just a SMB, a small business that isn't selling on your website, then it's basically just how many visitors um, to how many uh, inquiries, basically. It's the um, comparison of visitors to inquiries. Um, so yeah, great. Thanks, Josh. All right. So we're going to be um, looking at and showing you things that you can do to get more inquiries. Um, and so some of the elements that we're looking at are just on the left there. So design, layout, speed, reliability, trust, navigation. Um, but first off, and I've shown this a couple of times already, but I really want to stress this one. This one, this one is, is, is a huge point. Um, genuinely, aside from mobile friendliness, um, <clears throat> a mobile friendly website, the other most important factor is just how it looks. How does your website look? And I want everyone to be critical because <clears throat> a website should be refreshed and redesigned every three years. Um, it's a bit like fashion, I suppose, maybe um, design and fashion and trends. Um, but a website design can quickly look dated. And I'm talking three, maybe four years. Um, so I would recommend to everyone to refresh their website design every three years. 94% of first impressions, according to Google, are design related. So that means that people are going on your website, looking at it, and within seven or eight seconds, they've made a decision. Josh, is that right with the seven or eight seconds? Is that right according to your knowledge yeah, in Google? Yeah, exactly. So you've got that, it's that seven second period um, of where you've got that first impression. Um, I mean, Google kind of mentioned around that they're always changing their benchmark. They're wanting uh, websites to get better. Um, it's around three to seven seconds. Um, again, it is a very minimal amount of time. Um, you'd actually be surprised at how quick people will judge a website straight away um, if, if they can't find what they're looking for within that first three to seven seconds, they tend to just jump straight off. That's absolutely right. Um, now, uh, th that's why design and first impressions make or break the conversion. Um, and that's why I'd always recommend that you get a good designer to design your website or date your website. Um, and quite often we see um, business owners trying to change and update their own website, which is fine. And actually we're showing you things you can do today yourself to do that. But be very careful with that. Um, there's nothing quite like having a trained, qualified, 
um, educated designer who knows his or her trade. A designer is is a craft is a craft person. It's it's someone you know it's an artist effectively, and they can see things that we can't. So, for example, I've got um, a website that we designed, and um, I think they're in the um, the webinar today. Um, I, I noticed some yesterday. Yorkshire Escapes. Um, the reason why I want to highlight this website is because. Um, their conversion rates are great um, because we know that there's certain design elements that are improving their conversion rates. Um, and there's nothing quite like having a designer do it. And our best designer did this um, for Yorkshire Escapes. And there's so many elements here, whether it be the symmetrical lines or the clean, modern layout. Um, does this re website remind you of anything by any chance? I mean, for me, it reminds me of Airbnb. Um, and so if I go to, say, for example, another page, group accommodation, um, really clear headlines, very clean layouts with clean images, um, even to the point where you've got kind of curved edges, small, discrete cur curved edges on the images there, that takes us you know, thinking and time to actually um, put this into practice. The way the content's laid out, very easy to navigate, very easy to use. Uh, uh, the reason why we did it in that way is because Yorkshire Escapes are up against Airbnb. And all of you are, in fact, even if you're a plumber, even if you're a, um, a solicitor or an accountant, I know that sounds crazy, but the reason why I'm saying you're up against Airbnb and you're up against Amazon and you're up against um, Apple, um, whoever it may be, um, the consumer out there is used to seeing um, websites um, or design of this quality. And so the consumer is used to now very clean fonts, big fonts, very clean call to actions, beautifully designed websites. And it's the same for Airbnb. Um, so if I have a look down Airbnb, I can see similar kind of curved, uh, curved images there. Um, let me just go to another page on Airbnb. Bear with me. I don't really know how, um, how to, where I'm going on this one. But let me just see. Um, no, maybe not that one. Let me just see if I can um, have a look at another page. Here we go. It's a very clean um, contact form. Um, a nice hero image at the top, very big, bold hero image with a form just having three fields. Um, check out the font and, and have a look at how the font and text is laid out. Very clean, very minimal. Look at all the white space as well. And what, I, what do we mean by white space? Well, we mean the spacing between sections. Airbnb, well, the designers at Airbnb are not afraid to use white space. And it will be the same with Apple. If I have a look at all this space um, between, I know obviously I know this is a completely different type of product. I get that. But what I'm referring to is design in general and the amount of space that is between different sections. Um, and then this is, this is just really well designed by a professional designer. And that is effectively um, what we would do as well. And, and, and uh, you, you need a good designer because design counts for everything. Um, so, yeah, um, I just wanted to highlight, uh, highlight that for a second, because, like I say, the first thing that people notice is how it looks and that makes or breaks their decision. And it's like, you know, we walk past restaurants, don't we? And we walk past um, maybe clothes shops even. And we look in the window and we think, no, nah, that, that, I don't really trust that bit. There's something I don't trust. So it doesn't really look the part. And that's happening to you in your business online. Your website is your shop window. And people are looking in your shop window, at your shop window, and making a decision within seconds. And if it doesn't look the part, it doesn't matter what's on the website, they're off, and they're off within seconds. So design counts for everything. But what I'd also recommend, the second um, most important factor, is having clear, unique selling points. Um, USPs. And what are USPs? Well, they're just things like free delivery, um, established 1960, 24-hour um, emergency locksmith, whatever it may be. Um, it's your value proposition. And what I want everyone to do is, um, if there's something you take away from this webinar, is just to have a think today about four or maybe five unique selling points. What makes you different to your competition? What is your value proposition? 
effectively, if I'm a consumer, why would I choose you? Why? What is the why, basically? So have a think about your unique selling points. And what we recommend to do with your unique selling points is to have them as clear and prominent as you can get them on the home page and maybe even some of the service pages as well. So here's an example. Um, this is actually the home page of this website. Um, they've actually decided to have a contact form at the top, which is fine. But underneath that, you can see they've got unique selling points. For example, excellent reputation, five star reviews, and so on and so on. Here's another example, which I may have shown you already, but note the position of these unique selling points. And I'll just show you that um, as a live example um, online. So here's their website. And if I just get rid of the cookie thing, there we go. So here's their website. They've got a really clean hero image. This is what we call the hero image at the top of the page, above, above the fold. And um, I've got quite a high resolution on, or low, sorry, low resolution here. So, but normally you'd see the unique selling points as well above the fold. The fold is the first bit of the website that I see. And so you want to get the most important bits of your website above the fold. So above the bottom of my screen or your screen, what are the first things you see on the website? And so we've got a very nice image. So I'd always recommend having a really nice image on the background of your hero image and then a really clear headline that describes who you are, who you are and what you do. What is your main service? But here's where you see the unique selling points. The unique selling points um, are really clear and they're laid out with icons. So if you can use icons, that's even better. If you haven't got the capability or haven't got someone you can turn to to get this done on your website, don't worry. There is another way you could do it. And that is by having maybe just use bullet points. So even if these unique selling points were laid out in bullet point form, that would be okay. As long as it's really easy to use and really clear um, to read and see. Um, so uh, let's just have a quick look for a business on Google. And I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not going to look at um, any of your guys. Actually, we'll go to our where you know nearest town to where our office is, which is Harrogate. We'll go there again. Um, actually, I won't be able to do that. I'll actually I'll have to get some more results. So I'm going to go leads. And I'm going to go go through the pages because what I want to do is go a bit further back through the pages and find a website that's not ranking very well um, on purpose. So I'm just looking at this website here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, hopefully this isn't any of yours. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be quite critical. And um, where's the unique selling points is my first point. So what you'll find is many websites have their unique selling points buried within their content. I have to go through and read all of this to find what's unique. And believe it or not, people don't tend to read blocks of content anymore. More and more people are drawn towards bullet points or icons or visual sections. Um, and, uh, and so keep your website laid out in sections. Um, let me try and show you a very sort of overview example of that. Uh, let me just go to one of these pages really quickly. Um, in fact, I'll go to their homepage. So what Apple do is they lay things out in sections, as you can see. You've got section there and you've got another clear section here with a clear headline and they split these sections up beautifully. Now, forget the fact it's Apple. I know their products are different to all of ours, um, but Apple have the best designers in the world. And sections, I mean, this company has sections, but not quite in the same way. But it makes it easier for the user to read the content. Let's go to another quick one. Let's go to another business here and I'll, I'll click on this one here. Oh, sorry, that's exactly the same one as well. <laughs> Let me go to, what's this one? It looks like I've been here before. Let me just have a check. Okay, so looking at this example here, again, where's the unique selling points? People are looking to work out why should they use your business and you have seconds to capture that attention, seconds. Um, and if people are looking at websites, they're going like this. They're looking at a website. They're going back to Google. They're going on and if this stuff highlighted quickly on your website. Then you lose that conversion. You lose that inquiry. And so I would have to read through this content to find what's unique. But I bet there's something unique. Um, so they're 30 minutes from York, which is ideal. It's brilliant. They've got free parking. 
Okay, so that is a big thing now because a lot of these bed and breakfasts and accommodation charge for parking. All rooms have tea and coffee and television. Look, there's so many unique selling points within that content that could easily be highlighted just below that image there. And that's what I'm trying to say is that really try to pull out the best things about your business and make sure they're clear for everybody to see. I hope that makes sense. Um, and Josh, let me know if there's any questions or feel free to chip in, Josh, if you want to answer any questions at this point. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. I uh, can't see many questions, but yeah, no, no, you're all good to carry on. Okay, good, good. So what we'll do is we'll try and answer some questions. If anything comes in, uh, we might just drop in and answer those li live on the spot. Uh, but it's pretty clear so far, pretty simple. But what I want everyone else to, to what I want you all to check as well is, do you have reassurance on your website? or what some people call social proof. Um, and so what I want you to do is check whether you have your, um, an area on your website that has reviews and testimonials. And because what people are doing is they're checking your website and they're just seeing how it looks, but they're also gonna check to see if, if anyone else has used your business. So they're looking to see who else has used your business, have you done a good job, yeah, reviews, Josh. I think you have to mute, sorry, because I can hear you. <laughs> um, so, they, sorry, I just could hear Josh typing there. Um, but yeah, they're checking for reviews, they're checking for testimonials, and they're checking for that reassurance. So, make sure on your website you've got testimonials and accreditations. Accreditations are the things that you have for your business type, your industry, and your vertical. So, for example, if you're a builder, you'd be likely be FMB registered. If you're um, an accountant, um, I think it's FSA, I'm off the top of my head, I'm, I can't quite remember. There's certain accreditations that many industries have to have. So have those really clearly labeled um, and shown on your website. So for example, this particular business has decided to create a whole page for testimonials. And so I can click on testimonials and there we go. And this has given me so much reassurance whether you're a builder, plumber, hotel, accountant, solicitor, um, driveway specialist, dog walker, every consumer, we want to know if, what people are saying about you. Are you doing a good job? And we want to be able to see those reviews. So make sure you've got those reviews um, on the homepage. So let's check another website. Um, and... Uh, I've, I've pulled up Yorkshire Escapes before. By the way, I'd re highly recommend using Yorkshire Escapes. If you're looking for holiday accommodation in Yorkshire Dales, beautiful area of the York, you know, check out Yorkshire Escapes. They are awesome. Another company I'd recommend is Riverside Weddings. Um, and But this is one of our clients as well. I'm just giving them a quick shout out. But let's just see. I think they've been adding things to their own website, which is, which is great. I'm glad to see they're adding stuff to their website. A really simple layout. Actually, note, note what I was talking about with the sections and the, and the spacing between sections. Really clear, um, clear path and, um, and, and navigation. And this particular company has used a kind of how to get started process. And this is really useful as well when you have one, two, three, how, how, how it works or get started. That's a really cool way of making it easy for the, for the visitor to, to understand how you do things. Um, looking down, great. That's kind of accreditations right there. And there we go. Okay, so they've got testimonials on the website. Um, I wasn't quite sure if they did or didn't, but they have at the bottom of the website got the testimonials. And this is exactly how I'd recommend everybody has on their own websites, testimonials at the bottom of the homepage, or if you pot, if you can, at the bottom of every single page. So what I'd expect is for these to appear on every page. So let me just go to another page here, and we'll click on one of their wedding venues. Um, great, 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 okay. I wonder, yes, okay, so there we go. Reviews at the bottom of that page, and that's exactly how I'd recommend it to be done. Um, same thing on every page, um, just for, or maybe you could have a slider, um, uh, reviews that kind of slide and change, um, dep you know, depending on each review. So make sure you've got your testimonials and reviews. Um, oh, because what people are asking is, do I trust this business? Has anyone else used them? So that's kind of big, that was sort of big tip number three there, making sure you have reviews and testimonials. Um, and what I want to focus in on a bit more now is your service pages um, or what some people, some people call landing pages. 
So let's kind of dive into your service pages. Now, a service page is is not your home page. A service page is basically um, one of the pages that, that of the services that you offer. So, for example, if you're a accountant, you might have tax advice, VAT returns as another page, um, small business support as another page, and so on and so on. Those are your service pages. Now. A service page is where someone goes to read about a specific service or product that you offer. And then, then they're in that buying cycle by this point. They've got intent. And so what we would recommend is having a contact form. If you want to get contact form fills, we recommend having a clear contact form at the top of the page. So let me try and find another example of that. Let's just say that this is a service page. Here's a good example of... Um, of a, of, a, of a service page that is going to get lots of inquiries. They've got a really clear headline and they've got a contact form with just four fields there, just four. So it's name, email, phone, and message. So keep your contact form minimal under four fields if you can. Josh, were you wanting to say something, sorry? No, no, sorry. It was just the feedback coming back. Oh. I'll mute myself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I often think there's a question coming in, incoming question, but I'll I'll, I'll let you interrupt me when when that happens. Um, yeah, so so make sure that you've got um, your contact form really clear and and under four fields. Uh, if you if you have to have a fifth field, it's not the worst thing, but do bear in mind that the more fields you have on your contact form, the fewer the inquiries you'll get. Um, people don't want to fill out forms that have more than four fields, so just bear that in mind. Um, and um, there's the, you'll see on this screen here that there's um, numbers. Um, let me just draw your attention to number one, which says attention grabbing headline. I'm not going to go through all of these elements, but I'm just going to pick out the most important bits. Number one, the attention grab grabbing headline. What does that mean? Well, yeah, it should just describe what's on page. So this is a service page and that headline should describe what that service is and what's on page. Um, and we talked yesterday about headings. Well, that is your heading one, that's your H1. So in that headline, use the main keyword for the service that we're talking about here. And I'm just gonna point out um, number five on here as well. Number five is an image. And I've just spoken to you about having a hero image. A hero image is the main image at the top of the page. Um, this could be a video. And if you do have a video, that's even better. Because what video does is it keeps people on your site. And the longer people are on your site, the more Google loves it. Google loves time on site. So the longer your time on site is for visitors, the better that is for search engine optimization. So if you've got a video, get a video on your page, on your website because that increases time on site because people have to watch that video. Um, and you, I just want to draw your attention to number nine on this page. Number nine, um, I don't know if anyone can guess what that is, but that is actually the unique selling points. So this is what I was describing earlier. If you can't put icons and um, if you haven't got a good designer to, to be able to design the unique selling points, don't worry. You can just do it in, in bullet point form. And that is better than having it buried, your unique selling points buried within the content um, somewhere on the page. So number nine is pointing out the unique selling points in a very basic design type way. Um, number six, number six is the sign up now button. And I just want, to know, I just want you to note the color of that button. Um, there's various research that goes into conversion rate optimization and orange buttons and uh, red buttons create um, quicker conversions and higher conversions. So there's a reason why this button is orange. Um, you'll notice if you go onto Amazon, they use a kind of yellowy orange color for their buttons as well. And it signifies kind of a warm feeling and it makes people feel safe about that inquiry or pressing that button. Just something to note. Um, a red button creates more urgency. Um, so there's there's lots of research behind color. But what I would recommend, though, is that you actually match the color um, to your brand. And your brand is your logo color, your business colors. Just match the colors. Don't have a mismatch of colors. Don't use too many different colors. Maybe two colors would be a good kind of balance there. And it's similar to font. 
don't have lots of different styles of font on your website. The general rule for top designers is two or three at very most different fonts. So we're talking italics or we're talking Helvetica or Arial fonts. You know, make sure you only have two or three three at most different types of fonts. So the button should be really clear and easy to click. So that sign up now button, really easy and really clear to click. I just wanna draw your attention to the fact there's no other buttons that you can see on that page, right? There's no other links um, apart from the privacy policy, which is really small underneath the button there. But there, really, there's no other call to actions. Now, what is a call to action? Because that's what I just wanted to um, stop on for a moment here. Um, could anyone in the chat tell me, um, if I may just uh, go back to the broadcast, um, out of screen sharing, could anyone tell me what a call to action is, please? Um, and then we'll, we'll just focus in on that for a minute or two. So does anyone know what a call to action is um, when we're talking about your website? Call to action, call to action. Uh, did anyone, oh, hopefully you didn't miss anything. I saw there was a couple of um, people needing to reconnect. Um, yeah, there's a reconnect button at the top there. Um, you'll get a link to this webinar today as well. So um, we will be sending these webinars. So if you did miss anything, you can rewatch it back. Um, um, but yeah, uh, some people have got the right answer here. So it's a call button. It's a lead. It's a request to make a click. Yes, that is absolutely co correct. It's a request. Ben, Deborah, um, you've you've got the right answer there. So let's just go to see. Um, let's just go to a simple, um, uh, simple. Well, that, here we go. There's there's one right here. That is a call to action. That, that button you see right there is a call to action. I'm just going to go to our trusty um, painter and decorator. See how his looks. Um, okay, so I've gone onto one of his pages. I've gone onto the domestic decorating page. And it's obviously it says domestic decorating, which is clear headline. And it's got the call to action button is contact us. Let me see if there's any other buttons. I'm not entirely certain if there's going to be any other buttons. OK, good. There is a contact us button there as well. And there's a contact us button. OK, phew. OK, so the good news is we've done it right. So for this particular website, on this particular service page, we've used one call to action. And that is one of my biggest recommendations is, again today is having just one call to action on your service page or specifically your landing page. Um, a landing page, um, a landing page might be used for a marketing campaign, whether it be a Facebook ads campaign or Google ads campaign. It's where people land. So they click on your ad or they click on your um, result and they land on a specific page on a website. And it usually is the service page. So let's just treat service pages as landing pages because they're effect effectively the same thing. It's where that decision is made. And so what we're saying is make sure you have one clear call to action. You can have the same button more than once. So that sign up now button could be lower down on the page. But don't have multiple um, different links, basically. Don't take people off to different pages. Keep it really linear. So we're looking for a linear call to action. So I want to give you an example of how that works. Um, and just whilst I do that, I'm just going to, sorry about flicking around here. I'm just going to go back to the chat for a minute um, whilst I load something up. I'm going to show everyone specifically how to create the perfect, um, the perfect landing page. Um, just checking on everyone, making sure we're we're all going, we're all listening and <laughs> keeping note of all of this. And if there's any questions, everything looks good. No, everything looks great. Okay. So, quick breather whilst I load something up on my screen. Thanks for bearing with me. Five more seconds. I should be there. Great. Okay. I am ready. So, what I'm going to do is screen share again. And many of you, um, many of you have a website with InfoServe um, and uh, the website with InfoServe. And this isn't us plugging our services, by the way. I just want to show you how easy it is to create a landing page, a, a page that's going to convert to inquiries. And I want to show you how to do it perfectly as well. 
but um, we're using our inverse serve website editor here. Many of you have this anyway. So um, this will be really good for you because you'll be able to see how to do it really quickly. But um, the inverse serve editor is really easy to use. So if you don't have a website with inverse serve and you're struggling with your website designer to make changes, um, it, that shouldn't be the case. Um, if you speak to your web developer, web designer, making these changes should be really easy for them to do, and really quite straightforward. So, for example, if I so we've got unique selling points here on the home page. This is just, a, this is just a, an example website, a fake website. We've just made this as an example one. But on on this editor, um, we've made uh, we've created. Um, lots of sections already for our customers. So we've already pre-made the sections. And the reason why we've done that is we know exactly what works in terms of conversion. So we've made all these sections already for you. So if you missed what I did there, sorry, all I did is I'm on my website editor and just in between the rows, can you see I'm in between rows here? Um, when I hover my mouse in between rows, it says add section and I'm clicking on that. And what it does on the left-hand side, it brings up our range of designer-built sections that we've already built for, for you, basically. It's, it's already done. And so all you need to do is select whatever you want to add in here. So we've built hero sections. So if you wanted to add in, let's just, for, let's just do this for, for a bit of fun. If you wanted to add in um, a new image at the top of your website. Um, so this, let's say this is going at the top. There we go. It's done. Um, and I go, welcome to our website. You know, I quickly change the text, quickly change the background image, and um, it's done within seconds. And there we go, I'm done. And that's now at the top of my website if I want it to be. And obviously, I can delete that very quickly if I need to. But I'm just going to go and show you how easy it is to add unique selling points. So let me just do that really quickly because um, we've pre built them. So I'm just having a look down the left-hand side here, and I'm having a look to see if I can find some really cool sections um, for, for unique selling points. And I think what I'm going to do is use one of these here. So yeah, there we go. That will do. Um, I'm clicking on that one there because it looks like the right layout for a unique selling point, and done. And all I need to do now is change this and the icon is already there. You can change the icon. It's really easy. And there we go. That's my website done. And that's what I want to highlight to everyone. If you've got problems with your designer, with time and cost, um, then just bear in mind that it is actually quite a straightforward exercise. Or it certainly should be quite straightforward to add changes or make changes to your website. And you should be able to do that yourself. Um, any great website or great website editor you should have full control. Um, and so this is a Google recommended editor. We're lucky enough that we've got, um, we're partnering with a Google recommended website editor. It's effectively one of the best in the world. And it's the easiest. To, yeah, I can change anything really, really quickly. What I want to show you, though, is if I wanted to create um, the perfect landing page. So on our editor, we'd simply click new page. And, I would, and we've already built the page for you guys. So we've already done um, the perfect landing page. Um, and it's right there. It's landing page. And you can see on the left, on the right hand side, there we go. You can see a preview of that page. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. I'm just going to go to blank page um, and I'm going to create a new service page. And I'm going to go um, dogs, dog care. Um, let's just go dog care. That's my new page on my website. Just going to hide that for a second so I can. There we go. Okay, so this is a blank page. All I've got is the footer at the bottom of the website. That's always there on the website. I need to make a website now, but I'm not a designer. Um, how do I do it? Well, it's very easy, and we've made it really easy for you. And if, you, like I say, if you've got a website with um, elsewhere, they should be able to do this for you quite quickly. What I'm going to do is add the top of the website first. I'm going to show you the perfect layout to increase those conversions. So let me go to our pre-built section. Okay, that one will do, because that looks almost perfect. So I'm just gonna save that, and I'm just gonna remove the blank space at the top, and there we go. There we go. So what I've got straight away is a clear headline, clear headline, um, a little bit more description, and I've got a contact form done, 
uh, and I've got unique selling points done. Now, what I need to do is just change the content. I'm also going to remove this button here, the learn more button, because there's no need to have that when I've got a contact form. I, you need to decide what your goal is. If you want people to fill out a form, and many people prefer to fill out a form than ring and pick up the phone. If you want people to do that, then make sure your contact form is really high up on that page. And so I'm going to put it in this position here because it's nice and high at the top of the page. Um, and I'm going to make sure um, I have my clear headline, dog care um, in Leeds, let's say. And um, what I want to say to everyone now is this subtext, the subheading, the bit underneath your clear headline, I'm going to give you all a, a tip, a recommendation. Try to, try to, try to explain this, how your solution fixes their problem. So try to explain how your solution fixes the problem. So, for example, let's say um, I need dog. I don't even know what dog care is. I'm making this up on the spot. Let's say uh, going on holiday, <laughs> um, worried about your dog's um, behavior. <laughs> um, get um, seven days dog care for I don't know, 250 pounds, right? So that basically what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do there though is, is I'm highlighting the problem. So are you going on holiday? Are you worried about your dog? Do you love your dog? Whatever it may be. Highlight the problem. So for example, if you're in fitness, if you're a fitness instructor, you would say, um, do you have a running injury? Um, are, you, are you suffering from a bad back? Um, well, our free consultation, 30-minute consultation can, can help fix that. So basically the problem and then there's how your solution will fix that problem um and i'll just put um quality dog care you know uh, that's my solution and that's the solution that fixes the problem um i'm just in the editor here so that's why it's flicking around because I'm, I'm actually in the back end editor now the contact form is perfect it's already done we know what works and four fields work so there we go i'm going to leave that as it is because it's perfect Obviously, the unique selling points may need to change. You know, I might want to put 20 years experience, um, qualified um, carers. <laughs> you know, we're making this up as we go along. Best technology, emergency help. I might, you know, I might change it accordingly. You, you get the picture. Um, but the simpler, the better. I might even want to remove some of this text just to keep it really clean and simple. Um, but there we go. Really easy to read. Really simple. Um, and I've got one call to action, which is book your appointment or book your place, whatever it may be. Now, that's all I've done so far. I just want to show you what I'd recommend underneath that. Of course, we've already had the um, we've already had the unique selling points there. So I'm just going to go to text and text and image, and I'm going to add a new section here. And um, perfect. This is perfect. Um, I, I see that there's nice spacing as well. There's plenty of spacing, um, maybe a little bit too much spacing. Um, and so the good news is I can just simply drag. Uh, let me just try and do that. I can simply drag that upwards and it reduces the spacing. So there we go. I can move sections closer to each other really easily. Um, I don't even need to be a designer. So um, what I would do here is have learn more. And then that's where I put a little bit more content about the dog care. And then obviously here, we're going to have um, a picture of a dog. And of course, if you didn't know already, but your website editor has loads of free images, professional images already done for you, already built in. We give you those as part of the website. And um, yeah, there we go. I can just select one of those images and that will do. But look how good that is starting to look. Um, obviously, the background of this image might be changing because it's um, some vets. So I'm just going to go and do that. Um, but you start to get the picture now. Um, and it's really well laid out, really simple. I'm going to get lots of conversions um, from, from this. Um, let me just make that a bit bigger. Sorry, there we go. So I'm going to get plenty of good conversions and inquiries from this type of landing page. Now, what's missing? I want to ask everyone, does everyone, can, is, there, is there something that I've missed that I need to put on this page? What do I still need to add to this page um, that really gives a lot of trust to people? What is it that I need to add underneath that learn more 
section. Is there anyone, cause can anyone tell me what I need to add um, on there? And uh, Josh will read out the correct answer. Josh, is, does anyone know what I need to still add to this page that's Let's really important? <clears throat> oh, yep, Dave, Karen have got it. Okay, what is the uh, answer, Dave? So who is that, sorry? Uh, got Dave, Karen, uh, Cersei, um, uh, Deborah Wayne. They're all coming in now because they know the right answer. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, testimonials. <laughs> yeah, well done, guys. Good answer. Um, and it's really as simple as just having testimonials. Testimonial sections already built in your website editor. Again, you know what works. What I'm going to do is remove the images here because it's a little bit cheesy, isn't it, having those images. So I'm just going to remove those images. And all I do now is replace the content with the actual testimonials that I've got on uh, up for my business. And there we go. Um, I could put accreditations on there as well. So uh, that's really easy to do. And if I wanted to add that just above the testimonials, um, we've already built this for you. Um, uh, yes, I know this is unbelievable. If you've got a website with InfoServe, this is, it's, this is all built for you. Um, and you, all you need to do is pop it in. Um, so I'm just going to go to, um, da, 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 da. let me see if I can find a good, um, when you're on the spot, this is one of the most difficult things to do. I'm trying to think off the top of my head um, where I could add the, ah, here we go. There we go. So I'm going to add some accreditations. Um, that will do. There's a section pre-built um, and there we go. All I would do now, how fancy is that? It looks really cool. All I do now is change those images to um, whatever accreditations I've got. And there's the testimonials and I'm done. Now, there's one last thing I would recommend because I've only got one call to action button on this page. There's one last thing I would do and it's add a button. I'd want to add a button just here. So I'm just going to go to the widgets and I'm just going to search for button. And there we go. I simply drag and drop the button and um, my call to action is book um, your appointment let's say I can't remember what I wrote above um, so I'm just gonna book my appointment button I can it's so easy to do this it takes two seconds there we go now what I want to do is I want people to go to this um, to this contact form right here so this is a little bit more techy now so for those that can do this well done but for those that can't don't worry um you can uh, you can get some help with this really easily i'm just setting the contact form as an anchor link um so don't worry if this gets a little bit complex you don't have to do this but i'm just going to set now have this button go to that anchor link um so there we go set that and watch what happens now so let's say i landed on this page here and yep, looks good, looks good. I'm reading through, I'm reading a bit more about the content. Yeah, okay, everything looks, I'm interested. I, I wanna use them. I'm gonna click on this button and it takes me straight up to that contact. So it's called an anchor link where I can click on the buttons below. I could put that button again down here, uh, but it basically takes me back up to that contact form. And then there we go. Yeah, I just fill out my details and we're done. So um, that is uh, basically um, the, the, perfect, the perfect layout to a landing page. Um, now, if you need any help with this, um, we're able to support you uh, at the moment. And um, we're working with Google and Microsoft, of course, with Premier Partner and Lead Partner. Um, so do take advantage of this free support. Um, you can request a one-to-one -one on infoserve.com forward slash support. Um, but before we go, we've got a couple of audits to do. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Really sorry this is going on a little bit longer, but have a look at this. We've got a couple of audits. Um, take note of that URL because I think many of you are going to now request a free SEO audit when you see this. It is completely free um, and we can do it for you. So I'm just gonna go and close my tabs really quickly. Sorry about the messy windows. I'm gonna go to our audit tool. Josh, who won the audit? Let's have a look who you put in. Who was it that you picked for the audit? Josh, I did. Uh, I did quite a few in there. Um, okay. So there's um, any any that are dated for the first of May. I've I've done today. Ah, wow. Okay. So Josh has done a great job here. Thank you, Josh. What Josh has done here is he's preloaded for all of these businesses here. Um, you can have a free um, SEO audit. 
Um, and so we will, um, we can send through that SEO audit. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, we'll get this sent through to you. Um, and so what I'm going to do is pick out, um, it's only fair that I pick out the first one here. I'm just going to go to dressed to impress um, mid Wales. Um, ignore the score at the top right, to be honest with you, for, the, for just at the moment. Um, because that score is affected by things like if you're running a Google Ads campaign. And at the moment, it's detecting you're not running a Google Ads campaign. Um, I would always recommend running a Google Ads campaign personally, but it's okay, you're not. So that does affect the score. See, we can ignore that for the time being. What I want to focus in on is the bit here on the left-hand side, and we can look at this score here. So your website is currently scoring 83 um, out of 100. And so what we've done here is we've, we've got a full SEO audit complete for you. And um, I'll show you what I mean really quickly. We can click on um, any of these elements here and, and, and kind of dive into some of the detail. And so let's just have a look at the mobile friendliness of this website. Good. It, everything's, everything's ticking the box. It fits the screen, it has the text, and it has big links. So that's all great. Um, and so good work on having a mobile friendly website. Mobile speed is coming up a little bit slow, but we can take that with a grain of salt. Like I say, let's check it on our actual mobile friendly device. Let's check it on our mobile device, sorry, um, rather than re relying sometimes on technology. But this is a little bit of a warning, I suppose. And again, you can see that message that um, many people expect a web page to load within two seconds, but lots of people abandon a site if it takes more than four seconds. Now, it will actually break down on your report exactly what's going wrong, and um, it'll tell you how you can improve that stuff. So this report will go into all of the detail as to what you can do to improve that. Now, there's something I've spotted, though. Um, I don't know your name. I'm really sorry. And um, if, if I could go to the chat, I would, I would grab your name. So I'm just going to call you Dress to Impress. Um, so Dress to Impress, I'm just looking through here. And it's highlighting your title tags. And what it's saying is the title tags are a little bit too short. And I would say that they've also not been optimized. And so I can click on any of these pages. Let me have a look at your new products page. So I'm going to click on this link here. And that's your title tag on that page. Um, and the reason why I'm a bit concerned by that is because you should have in this title tag, it should say bridal, prom, and formal um, wear, for example, or, or dresses, bridal dresses, et cetera. Yeah, I think it should be... Um, bridal dresses, I'm guessing. So yeah, evening dresses, your title tag should definitely have those keywords in there. So it should say bridal evening wear dresses. Um, and so this is going to show you exactly where you're going, going wrong. And it even, it even tells you what your description and title tags are. Um, so we were looking at some of this stuff yesterday um, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, we're going to be looking at backlinks, everybody. We're looking at backlinks and we're looking at advanced SEO early on next week. And we're going to show you how you can get more high quality backlinks for advanced SEO. We're going to go into that next week. Um, there we go. It even shows you a click to call button. Not sure about that one. So we'll maybe have a look at that one separately. Um, but just really quickly, before we finish, um, just go to one of the, if I, if I may, um, I'm just going to go to the next one up, which is Huxtable Farm. And I'm going to go over to the left-hand side again. Um, the mobile site speed um, may be slightly, slightly slow, so we'll just have to look at that. But I just want to go to the titles and descriptions and the headings. So let's start at the headings, if that's okay. Because what this report will do is it'll actually tell you um, how your structure of the website content, how those headings are defined and if they're good enough. Um, and it's saying to me on the homepage that you're mm. missing a, um, oh no, sorry, actually you might have a H1, but it's missing, sorry, on the homepage you are missing a H1. So let's just have a quick look at your homepage. Um, okay, so this is the home. So for, for me, first of all, um, I'm sure you do. A, you know, you have a lovely business. I can see by the background the the actual business looks absolutely beautiful, and the surroundings look amazing. Um, but design 
Um, this is this is obviously how your brand and your business is represented, and this is the first thing that people see. And so I would recommend just having a look at the design and maybe doing a little bit of a tweak and a refresh of of the design and layout of your website. You've seen how easy it is for us to do that. So um, obviously, if you need any help, we we would love to help you with that. But um, you are missing um, some SEO, um, the the heading tag, um, the H1. So there's some key things missing there. If I just go over really quickly to the titles on this one, the titles and descriptions, um, if I may. And um, there we go. It does come up with titles. Now, you have got some of your keywords in your title tag. So that is actually really good. You've also got the locations. Great. It is saying it's a little bit too long, but that's okay. 66 characters is okay. Um, but yeah, you've used your keywords, actually. Your title tags and your description tags are really good. So that's, that's excellent. I'd say for your website, it's more the headings and the layout and the, the, the design of the website. Um, okay, so if any of you want us to send you a SEO report, a website audit, mm -hmm. we can do that. Um, <clears throat> all I'd say is, as you can see, it takes a bit of time for us to, to do that. But we have the capability at the moment to do this for you for free. Yeah. Um, and so if you just give us maybe three working days, <laughs> we'd really appreciate it. But we, by the end of the three working days, we can get these SEO reports over to you. If you drop a one-to-one, -one, so there's a button on this page, infocenter.com forward slash support, one-to-one, and put in the message that you want a free um, SEO audit. Um, we will run that audit for you and um, get back to you with that. Um, so just... Go, go to that page and drop us a message and we yeah. can do that for you. Um, sorry for running over time there. Um, <laughs> I hope it's been useful. Um, we will, uh, if, we'd love to see you again at Monday, um, on Monday, 11 a.m. Please do join us Monday, 11 a.m. We've got some really exciting stuff, even, even more useful stuff coming next week. We're only skimming the surface with the basics at the moment. We're yeah. starting this week off nice and light with some of the digital marketing essentials. Next week, we start to scale it up, and we're going into some really um, exciting new tips that are going to really help you get more inquiries, get more followers on your social media, improve your website even a step further and help you get found on Google and Bing. We've got lots more to show you next week. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Is there any closing comments you'd like to make, Josh? Um, so, yeah, we've we've had a lot of uh, SEO questions. Um, so <clears throat> just to let you know, we are planning on doing an SEO session. Yeah. Um, we're going to get real in-depth with SEO. Um, so any kind of questions around search engine optimization, getting found for multiple locations or multiple search terms. We're really going to be kind of diving deep into that as well. Um, I have noticed some people have replied to the uh, webinar replays and uh, webinar notifications. So they're all automatic replies. Um, I've just checked that inbox. I'm trying to get back to everyone um, as, as soon as possible, really. Uh, but if you if you are wanting us to get in touch, um, please, fill, uh, please fill in the form at the bottom of the support page, infoserve.com forward slash support. It's at the top of the chat. Um, and that makes sure that either me or or, or, or any of our kind of agents will we'll definitely get in touch um, and we'll run through the SEO report with you as well. So we've got loads more to go through on SEO and your website and we, um, we're, we're going to be helping you with um, any uh, Google Ads campaigns as well, etc. It is all completely free. Um, join us on Monday, 11 a.m. I really hope this has been... Um, useful for I, I haven't been able to see the chat throughout this i'm li just literally going in blind doing this guys i really hope this is useful um i hope this is helping your business um we're here for you we're here to support you we're not looking for anything in return um so please do reach out to us um or just at the very least just join us every day join yeah. us every day 11 a.m yeah. um thank you so much for your time today just to, uh, just to quickly answer yeah. mary's question sorry to kind of cut you off there uh, yeah. mary if you just fill in the form at the bottom um, uh, it, it doesn't say kind of SEO one-to-one, -one, uh, but it's just, it's just request a one-to-one -one and we'll run through the SEO audit with you. Um, just that there's one form at the bottom of that page. If you want in us to, to get in contact with you, please fill in that, please fill in that form just to make sure. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, the SEO audit just is, is the one-to-one -one really. So yes. yeah, thanks Josh. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your time. Um, and um, for all of our lovely customers, um, it's a cliche, everyone keeps saying this, but stay safe, look after yourselves, um, and uh, we'll have a great weekend, and we yeah. will see you on Monday. Um, thank you so much for your time today, um, Monday, 11 a.m., and that's it from us. Have a lovely weekend, um, and goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much. Brilliant.
Thank you. Bye. Bye.